Okay, you all. So I had to do a part two to this video. My four-year-old was throwing a temper tantrum, so I had to go attend to her. Lord have mercy. Anyways, this king of sword, this queen of swords, is throwing a fit. This woman does not like you. This woman is pissed off because of the fact that um, this person is still coming towards you. This offer is still coming towards you. Someone still has a lot of emotions and love for you, regardless of what she and her coven of sisters, as they call themselves, came together and tried to do. This is like them you know, putting in a lot of effort to paint you in a light that's not fading. So they're realizing after all of the tactics they use, put an effort in to block this masculine from from coming towards you, trying to make him see you in uh, a dishonest light they didn't work. He's still planning to come towards you. This person is still taking charge to come towards you, right? Uh, someone knows that you are gifted. And they're pissed off about it. These women, they know that you are gifted. They know that you know what's going on. You intuitively know the things about them that they don't even want you to know about them. And it makes them feel insecure, right? Um, someone in here may be facing some type of legal issues or this is what they wanted to do. It's like they wanted to bring you legal issues so that any chances or possibilities of this masculine coming towards you will be slim. It's not working. Uh, for some of you, this King of Cups may have trapped himself into something legal. Like he took some type of legal actions or illegal actions against you and he has resorted into something that's not working out in his favor. It's like now he has to come towards you and ask you for forgiveness. He has to come towards you and explain things to you. Someone is very embarrassed about the things that they did behind your back. Right? It's like you initially met this person you two kicked up uh, kicked kicked it off really uh good not like explicitly right but just conversation connection wise and things like that so someone may have been planning to ask you out or something this is just an example so they were planning to ask you out uh but then maybe they sent someone to talk to you get some information from you and maybe they got the wrong information and then because of the wrong information that they received they started taking actions against you but now they're finding the truth out that this whole group is a group of liars or this woman that is painting herself out to be a better version than you is a liar and so now he has to come back towards you to ask for forgiveness someone here goes to like a high priestess like someone is rushing to a high priestess because they want to know the truth. They want to know what's going to happen. Am I going to be successful with this uh, woman, this empress? Is she going to take me back? Blah, 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 blah. Because something he did is hunting him. He feels bad, right? He feels really bad about what he did. Someone feels like they've lost their opportunity with you, their chances with you. Someone wants to come and give to you, hoping that you two can move on with life, sail onto calmer waters and things of that nature. And someone is just having a really hard time. For some of you, there's someone from your past that may still want to reconnect with you, but they cannot because of things that they did in the past as well right? So there's a whole lot of drama going on with people from your past and you are nowhere to be found. You're somewhere with your legs kicked up, drinking mimosas, not paying these people any mind. I don't blame you. It's just too much drama. Why do these people have this much drama going on? And it's about you, but you're not the one doing anything. Why are they, why are they this focused on you, right? Is it because a lot of these people will never have the opportunities that you have? You know why the universe gives certain opportunities to some people and not to other people? It's because certain people work for these opportunities. And I don't mean like going to a nine to five. It has to do with character. It has to do with the energy you put out into the universe, how you treat people, how you carry yourself, your relationship to source, the many lifetimes that you've been incarnating and putting in that work. This is what lets source to know that you are worthy and ready for certain blessings. But when you are out here spilling out negative energy, being a negative Betty, being a nasty Karen, being a bigot, because there's someone in here that is a bigot. It's that they don't like you, but they want to be you at the same time. This is like someone who admires your work, but they will steal your work and put it out as their own. This is someone that will talk down about you, 
but they're looking at everything you wear so they can, so they can go buy everything you have on so they can wear it too because they want to be you, but they hate you at the same time. Make it make sense. These are the kind of people you're dealing with. They do like men, mind manipulation, mental magic, root magic, everything you can think of. They do things to kind of steal creativity from other people. They want to block your creativity, your intuition, because these types of people have a lot to hide. And if you're someone like me, I know you see the truth, honey. And you're showing up as a high priestess. You're, oh, Lord, you know the truth about these people. They don't like it. They don't like you. But they want to be you. They want to have your opportunities. They want to have your destiny. Someone may have tried to do some type of destiny swap Swap here. It's not working. You know, your karma, your karmic destiny is still yours. And we star seeds and empresses are going to keep our abundant destinies. Okay? Mm -mm. we are stepping out on faith stepping out on hope someone is moving forward taking a risk to come towards you so that this union can come together and a new reality can be manifested between the two of you you're going to be working in some type of new field you may be someone that tells the truth speaks the truth you're going to be extremely direct is that someone has some type of business idea that they want to manifest with you and this is what is going to be taking place um these people don't know the major thing that this masculine is coming towards you to give you some type of money or some type of offer, but you two are going to be creating some type of new reality, right? It's going to help people heal. It's going to help people live in a new light and things like that. So it's going to be very prosperous. So whatever it is, these people are blocking for you right now, quote unquote blocking for you. I wouldn't worry about it because there's something bigger and better for you always because you are a child of the divine okay this woman that has been pretending to be an empress this thief she's having a walk away someone is experiencing a lot of financial setbacks her money is blocked someone is about to go through karma like nobody's business and this is what she was intending for you this is like someone saying, I don't want her to be prosperous. Block all of her money sources. Block all of her opportunities. And then, oh, honey, the energy is returned to you. Return to sender. So now all of her money, uh, uh, possibilities, everything is being blocked. Someone is about to be broke. Facing legal issues. Because they broke the law in regards to you. Someone did something to violate your rights. And it's going to be brought to your attention, right? And please do take actions to sue them, file charges. Do not, do not let that nurturing side of you empress get the best of you in this situation. Someone may come to you begging like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I did what I did. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please don't file any charges against me. Please don't sue me. Absolutely sue, honey. You can still sue in a diplomatic way. way. Be tactful about it. If these people want to settle with you behind closed doors, that's an option too. Okay? Life is a projection of the energy we put out. Whatever energy they put out to you, honey, respond diplomatically. Okay? Yeah, someone's, someone's uh, 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 luxurious lifestyle, their comfort is all over. Someone is about to be in years of karma. It's going to be like one karma after the other, one karma after the other. There's a couple in here that's being seen as a thief. Like they've been paying people, manipulating people about you for a long time. And it's all coming to an end. They're, they're, they are exposed. These people are exposed. They may be wanting to go on a run, leave their home, go to a never, another state, go to another city, go on to another country. There's nowhere to hide. Where can you hide from karma? Okay, there's a couple in here that may be facing legal issues, like the like courts. Someone could end up going to jail. Okay, they're living in fear. They don't know what's going to happen. They're worried. There's and regardless of what they're going through, they're still more worried about you receiving news from this King of Pentacles. That makes no sense. It's like everything these people are going through, they are still more worried about you receiving good news. It is crazy. They're in some type of toxic union. They're not happy with each other. The marriage is redundant. 
it's like one of those couples they've been around each other for so long maybe they liked each other in the beginning of the marriage but then maybe two years in three years in they stopped caring for one another so they've just kind of been stuck together for resources or for convenience for convenience for all of these years and now they've developed some type of toxic reality between one another and they've just been spilling this toxicity outside bringing it into other people's lives and they're being forced to walk away when you connect with this masculine you two may end up moving to a different state a different country which is probably best leave the toxicity behind Go and start over brand new somewhere else. Okay? Do not stay where you are. But wherever you're going, make sure that it's somewhere that's safe for you. Like, for example, uh, you know I have a whole lot of mel melanin, right? Thank you, universe, for that. But before I move somewhere, I have to make sure it's melanin-friendly. Melanin uh, yeah, because I don't want to end up somewhere where I have to, you know, have to battle my neighbors every day to leave me alone because just because of the fact that I have melon. Okay. So this couple is going through an ending. They may, may be going through a divorce. They are experiencing some type of financial like as well. This couple may have gone broke trying to pay people behind the scenes for a long time. Not even trying paying people behind the scenes as well for a long time to cause you some type of stagnation to block your love life, to block your dreams, to block opportunities. It's like they've trapped themselves in something. Someone or a group of people were on their last leg with the universe. It's like they were being tested. Were they going to do this last thing to cause you some type of stagnation or blockage? It's like the universe was testing them. I'm going to see if they've learned their lesson. Because they keep doing this. Like they do one thing, I, I cost them an ending. They do another thing, I cost them an ending. I'm going to see if they're going to do this last thing. And they went for it because that's how karmics are built. They don't listen. It don't matter how many times you tell them not to do something. It's not the right choice. It's not a good idea. They're not, they're not uh, uh, programmed to use logic. Okay? They're more so programmed to use manipulation. Someone in here is using manipulation but adding a little bit of truth to it. So it's confusing someone. There's a masculine in here, and I don't know if it's this masculine that's supposed to come towards you. There's a lot of manipulation going on around him from these people. A whole lot of manipulation. It's like they're trying to tell him the person he wants to give an offer to is conniving. She's manipulative. He's manipulative. Uh, 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 they are a thief. They're not authentic. They're disingenuine. Someone is mentally imbalanced. I keep hearing a lot of stuff. Someone is a trickster. They're not loyal. It's a whole lot going on. A lot that people are saying about you. It's like if you were to sit and listen to what these people say about you every day, you will learn something new about yourself. Literally every conversation. It will be like, oh, I didn't know I was like that. Oh, I never knew that. Oh, you mean I'm 30 something years old and I never knew I had purple eyes. Yeah, that's how ridiculous it is. Like, people are just making up stuff. They're going to say anything, do anything to block this person from coming towards you. And if they manage to, it was, not, it was not meant to be. That means there's something better for you. That's how you see life. That's how life works. Okay? If one thing does not make it to you, that means that it was not meant for you. If a masculine can choose not to work with you, if a feminine can choose not to work with you because of what other people tell them about you without ever interacting with you to get your side of the story, that is not someone you are meant to be working with or being in a relationship with. Because that should let you know that that is not someone that has a mind of their own, that is not someone that thinks for themselves. But the mindset I'm getting from this masculine, this is someone extremely logical. Because I see this knight of pentacles out here, this is someone extremely logical. This is not someone reckless. These are the types of people where you tell them something and they think about it. They may not tell you that they're thinking about it. They may not make it known to you that they're thinking about what you're saying. 
but they will listen to you. But when you leave that room or leave their space, you best believe they are applying logic to everything you told them. So they are not going to make a move until they have found out the truth about you, the situation or whoever you're talking to them about. So you can gossip all you want. The Knight of Pentacles energies, they are a beautiful energy. These are people that are extremely logical, loyal, committed, and things like that. They can be stingy. You best, oh Lord, these people can be stingy, but we're not talking about that side of them today. That's for another day. The Knight of Pentacles people are loyal, logical people. They rationalize everything. So if you call yourself someone's best friend and you come, let's say, for example, and you gossip about that best friend to a, a masculine or a feminine energy that's in a Knight of Pentacles energy, they're going to be looking at you like, if you are saying that you're this person's best friend, why would you feel comfortable talking to me about something like that? Why would you feel comfortable telling their secrets and things like that? That's how these types of people think. And people that are karmic, they don't rationalize those types of behaviors. They just know they have the latest tea on you and they're going to go spill it. Meanwhile, while they're spilling the tea about you, they don't realize that these types of energies are judging them. They're looking at them like, um, well, I know not to ever share anything personal with you. I know not to ever partner up with you because you are disloyal as heck. How can you call someone a friend and they go gossip about them? That's how they see you. So this person is still coming towards you. Whenever this offer is meant to be given to you, it will be given to you. There is some type of communication that has been being interfered with. So spirit has gotten creative on how it's going to make it to you. It's like someone sent a message and they were waiting for your response and never got the response. They may have gotten frustrated at some point. They thought that you were probably ignoring them and things like that, but you're not ignoring this person. It's like the message is not making it to you. Because people are interfering, blocking messages, rerouting phone calls and things like that. Right? And this is all to block this new beginning, to block this uh, uh, this connection, whether it's a work opportunity. They want this person to stay stuck to traditions. This person is not. It's like someone being in some type of unhappy union. And they want the person to stay in that unhappy union. Why? Because it benefits them. And also, they don't want you, the empress, to live a prosperous life. They say, yeah, 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 she carries herself as an empress, but she's broke, so who cares? So they want you to stay broke. They want you to stay in a like mentality, like a, a state of like, basically. Because they know once you get abundance, they have nothing on you. You know, like those superficial women with their mindset where they think because they have the big butts, the big breasts and all of that, and they're, that that makes them better than other women. Is that, uh, that's not how that works. That is not how that works, right? But then you have to think about it. Yeah, you have that big butt and the big breast, but you can't keep a man. You can't keep a job. You can't keep a home over your head. This and you, like, you can't keep nothing. And why, why is it that your big behind and your big breast is not keeping this man from cheating on you, right? It's those types of situations like comics don't apply logic to. And it's, it, it, I always find things like they're very like historical. It's like, are you really that small minded? Anyways, this man is stepping away from tradition. Someone knows that you are very different. Like you are spiritual. They know you're gifted. You're not like anyone else and they are okay with that because this opens them up to a new world, right? They know that everything else that they've been exposed to from years back, their whole life is coming to an end. But they're okay with that because they know, one, you are loyal. They're going to have to br uh, have a brand new life with you that's going to be successful. You are a, a, a committed person. So they know they're not going to be wasting their time by committing to you. It's like someone has been dating women over the years or has been in some type of union over the years that just has not been fulfilling. But they know that it's going to be fulfilling with you, even though they know you are a little bit different. But in this case, different is good for this masculine. Like he doesn't mind. And the fact that I'm saying he doesn't mind may mean that at some point 
your uniqueness, your eccentricity about you, something about you he, he did not feel comfortable with. So now he's a little bit more comfortable with it because he's realizing that that's what separates you from this group of people or other people overall. This is what makes you unique, right? And it may be something that actually that he loves about you now or likes about you, right? So th- this this is like someone going through a whole new going to a whole new world. I don't know why like Aladdin just came to mind. It might be like someone wants to come into your life and just sweep you off your feet on a magical carpet and you two can go to uh, 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 some type of new world together and live a new life. Like get away from the drama, get away from toxic people, leave the past behind. Something is telling me that a masculine, this masculine may have experienced the same thing you are experiencing all of this betrayal because some of you are even being betrayed by family members and friends that you've known for a long time and this person could have gone through the same experience so they understand what it is you're going through and something i just heard as well is that this masculine may not have realized initially that you were being betrayed that you were being misrepresented so this could have been why he participated in something or took some type of action against you but because the truth is revealed now someone is trying to make things right with you someone here could be heartbroken it's like they're i keep being drawn to this king of cups it's like he's he's really sad and feeling hopeless that when he comes towards you you're going to reject him and just remember that energy is fluid, so he could be showing up as a king of cups right now. Uh, he showed up earlier as a king of pentacles. Some of you have multiple offers coming towards you, so that's why we also have these different characters out here. Um, but just remember, you know, sometimes people go through certain experiences, and that's why they make certain decisions, Right. So if you are surrounded by a group of toxic people for many, many years, sometimes you will even start to call these people family and you start to trust family to lay you on the right path, to tell you the truth, to look out for you, only for you to find out that they haven't been doing that right. And now you kind of have to have this rude awakening um, and learn a really hard lesson. And it's all due to the people that you call friends and family right queen of wands the truth is being seen about you there's another queen of wands here that's being seen for who she is this is someone that was extremely pretentious someone wants to hide from the things that she's been doing because karma has caught up to her this is someone that's either having a hard time getting out of bed someone having a hard time leaving her job uh, her home to go to work someone does not want to go to work anymore Someone also, for you, for some of you out there, there's a woman that's overworking herself because she doesn't want to have to go home to hear the voices because it's too lonely at home. Because when she goes home, everything is just playing in her head over and over. All the actions she took, all the lies that she told. It's that you, this woman went through to an extensive length to lie. And now, like, the truth is out. All of the lies that she told, all of the actions she took against you, all the manipulations, everything is playing over and over in her head because now she knows she looks really insecure, really immature, really toxic. She cannot hide anymore. Someone may end up even, like, leaving their job or even just losing their job. But someone may stop going to work because they're too embarrassed to show their face. It's what I'm hearing. Like, I just saw a woman, like, she's in bed. She cannot get out of bed. There's another woman sitting and, like, shaking, tapping her leg, like, really fast. Like, she just, she's nervous. It's a black woman. She's nervous. Like, caramel co- comple- lighter than caramel complexion, average height. But she's sitting and, like, just tapping her leg really, really fast. She looks very anxious, just worried maybe crying and things like that and this is because her actions have caught up to her okay so this is the thing about karma it always catches up to us it always catches up to us i love my saying where i said maya knows everyone's address even the nomads 
So there's nowhere you can run to hide from my art. Balance will always be brought into situations. So it doesn't matter how long you go and tell lies on someone, what picture you paint, balance will always be brought into the situation because the universe that we live in is one that operates on principle, morals, and logic. So our universe, our reality is not accidental, right? There are laws put in place for things to be the way they are. So there will always be balance brought into like the smallest of situations. We may not be there to experience the balance as far as that the common, our enemies experiencing their karma, but you best believe they're experiencing it in some way, shape, or form. Let's say, for example, someone throws you spell work for something to happen to one of your children. They may end up losing one of their, their child, right? Because the universe sees that as balance being brought into the situation. They said you throw negative energy at someone that did nothing to you. Obviously, it's going to come back to you. Um, so what do you think is going to happen? Yeah, that's how it's set up. But Queen of Wands, you are being seen as someone authentic. You have a new path um, ahead of you. So don't you worry. You're going to be sailing under calmer waters, getting the chance to move on with your life, get away from these toxic people. There is going to be some type of change you're going through. It may be like really disappointing at first. You'll see it in that way. You're going to see it as something disappointing because you may be leaving a group of people behind. You may be leaving some type of job behind and things like that or uh, something you build, you may have to leave behind, but there's something extremely abundant ahead of you that's going to be so crucial to the world. It's going to make a lot of difference in the world, right? You're going to be someone extremely influential and affluent at the same time. People are going to be really aesthetic because they have a connection with you because you are here because they are in a, um, a, a, a reality where you are there because they know you are there to heal right the work you are about to do is going to make a lot of difference in the lives of people you're going to be healing people from a lot of different traumas and things like that so don't you even worry again about what these people are trying to steal from you they're not stealing anything they are just powering you into your destiny. You are showing up here in a lot of beautiful energies, the high priestess, which means you are intuitively gifted. You have a very strong connection with source. You're in the upright, which means that you are someone that does things right. However, there is a high priestess in here as well that's experiencing some type of drastic ending. Her finances, someone has been humble. She's losing her finances because she took action against you because of a personal vendetta. This is like someone going to a high priestess to send you dark work, but whatever the high priestess is doing is not working. So she takes it personal and she starts doing things that you didn't even ask her for because she feels that you're more powerful that, that they didn't even, they didn't even ask her for, but because she feels that you're more powerful than her, she's not able to take you down. She's been able to take down a hundred other high priestesses and star seas and empresses, queen of cups and things like that. But for some reason she can't take you down. So she takes it personal. Now she's sending death spells to you and your children, your husband, your whoever, your lovers. She's sending death spell left and right. And every day she wakes up and you are still here moving on with your life. And as a high priestess, I will assume that she knows that Life is a projection of the energy you put out. So where do you think that all of those death spells are going back to? Her and her family. So someone is going through a drastic change. This woman has a lot of karma coming in. She's about to be broke. You know, it always fascinates me how you can work so hard to get up to the high priestess level, but choose to do dark work. It's like the meaning someone comes to you and asks you to do some type of dark energy. Isn't the first voice in your head telling you no? So how many times have you been ignoring that voice and, and, and accepting pay to interfere with someone's work, to interfere with their forward movement, to interfere with their love connections, to make them seem unwise, to make them seem immature? Someone wants people to believe that you're not a hermit. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know anything about magic. You don't know anything about spirituality. You're just someone that's a pretender. 
but they are the ones that are like that. So this high priestess, whoever you are, whoever she is, he is endings in finances. There's something that's coming to an end for her. Someone could be facing legal charges. I hear someone saying, what? I'm going to jail for doing magic? Yes, dear. And you may be the first one. <laughs> you are going to be the first one to go to jail for doing magic on someone because of the way you went about doing it. Someone here has a very black heart. A very black heart. It's like they don't care. They don't care about people. They don't have any human emotions. They're shallow as can be. All they do is rely on magic for everything. I know this spell work. I can take her down in no time. I know this spell work. I can block their finances. I know this spell work. I can block their love life. But the person you're coming after doesn't have to do any spell work. That should let you know who the big, real big bad wolf is. When someone does not have to use spell work, someone doesn't have to put ingredient one and ingredient two, only put half of ingredient one, put two tablespoons of ingredient two. <laughs> Empresses, star seeds, we don't have to do any of that. We just speak into your life and it is. That's the difference. That's what sets us apart. We don't have to do spell works. We don't have to use a, this herb, that herb. He herb, she herb. <laughs> we have the authority by the universe to speak into existence what we want. And we are sure we are, we are uh, respectful enough to use that power, that privilege with responsibility because we know the consequences and repercussions that can follow if we are just out here being reckless with our tongues. But a lot of you, you're so damaged and unwilling to heal that you will do anything for a little bit of change because you're insecure because you want to feel powerful why do you want to feel powerful the moment you do something to feel powerful you are not you've lost your power the moment you have to group up against someone you've lost your power the moment you have to lie to get something you've lost your power the moment you have to do anything tr any type of tricks pull any type of tricks or strings to get something or someone, you've lost your power. It's speaking insecurity. Anyways, thank you for watching part two. See you in my next video. Goodbye for now.